Having a good study technique is the difference between fanatically turning pages for six hours while taking a break every two minutes because, let's be honest, you deserve it, and spending 30 minutes consuming information like a goddamn Dementor. And today I'll let you in on a few studying hacks that I haven't seen in any other videos on this topic and which I personally know are some of the best. Let's begin. Guys, what if I told you that your energy levels fluctuate throughout the day? No shit, you goddamn YouTuber scrub. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you know, but tell me this. At what time of the day do you have the most amount of energy? What time do you have the least amount of energy? And if you think there is a prescribed time for the entire human race that says something like, at 4pm you will feel like shit, you're mad because obviously it is unique to everyone. And so here is my first tip. Figure out what times of the day you have the most amount of energy and motivation and figure out what times you don't. And once you've done this, you'll know what times are better suited to studying and when you'll be the most productive and what times are better suited to taking a break. This is something I used to do and it really makes a huge difference and you can figure out what these times are by simply doing this. For the next few days, every hour or so, write down a number out of 10 of how energized you feel and how motivated you feel. And then you'll know what times are best suited to studying. You know how sometimes you feel super unmotivated and would rather do anything else than study, but other times you're almost excited? Okay, let's be honest, slightly less miserable at the thought of studying. Well, knowing when these times are will mean that you will always be in a better state of mind, get more done, enjoy it a little more, and not waste time contemplating whether working at McDonald's for your entire life would be a less stressful, more enjoyable, and probably much more pleasant of an existence than what you're doing now. Or something along those lines. Next, don't just study for exams, but also study for exam conditions. Everyone knows that you should look at what exams you have and direct your studies towards them and all of that, but this tip is a little different, and I actually stole it from professional athletes who, when training for a competition, don't practice at 9pm every day. They obviously practice at the time they are expecting to compete, because what good is it feeling super energized at 9pm when your race is at 6am? So guys, when you receive your exam timetable, start studying for your exams and reviewing the course content at the exam time every day. Your body will begin to associate this time with that content and when the exam day comes you'll walk into the exam with your brain already recalling relevant information, prepared for work and in the right headspace to perform. It's pretty genius right and it absolutely works. And the final tip guys is a bit peculiar and very subtle and it is something that many students do right before an exam which can potentially impair their ability or more specifically impair their memory and it occurs when just before you walk into an exam you try and remember the information you need just so you feel sure of yourself. Maybe you sit down and close your eyes for a minute and try and bring it to mind or maybe you just take an inventory of your memory and kind of mentally check off topics you know you remember. Well if you do this, you're done. Because doing this can potentially obscure and distort those memories which until that point were accurate and reliable. Because when you recall something, you're actually almost recalling the last time you recalled it. So for example, if you're sitting in your room solving an equation using a particular technique, if a day later I asked you to recall that technique, you would be mentally taken back to sitting in your room working on the problem and the memory would be very accurate and usable. You might even recall some finer points which you'd only be able to do because mentally you're in your room with your book open. Well guys, what if a few days after that I asked you to remember the technique again? Now your brain would find that the most recent and therefore the most accurate memory of the technique is from a few days ago when you were talking to me and I asked you to recall it. Meaning that you've just lost some accuracy and you'll probably find yourself trying to remember what you said to me about the technique rather than trying to remember writing the technique out on paper. Now this idea of memory recall is certainly still up for debate, but in my experience I found it to be true, and so now that you understand that, here is the tip. Don't distort your memories by trying to partially recall them just so that you can feel confident that you remember them. Don't sit down before an exam reading a list of equation names while checking them off because you've just played yourself. Instead sit down and work through the techniques so that when you recall it, your memory is accurate, usable and not distorted. And once that memory has been made, don't mess with it. Doing this should get rid of that feeling we all get when you know you remember something and you've told yourself you remember it, but you just can't recall it enough to solve the question. Because the reason is, of course, that you're just recalling yourself, telling yourself that you know the thing, which is useless, if that makes sense to anyone. <laughs> And guys, I hope these tips help you out, and thank you to Gao for requesting this video, and here is today's engineering meme. Also, apologies for my absence, I've been trying to build a company, but you can expect weekly uploads from today forward. Thank you for watching, and good luck out there.
Oh, uh-huh.